Okay, so you are going to see our brand new salad spinner in action from a Wow, I love it. From a company today called Progressive that has over 40 years of history. This is the L8, which is the top of the line series, by the way, John. That's right. Check That's right. that out. I mean, check it out. You know, here's the, the best part about this. It's so simple and compact. Everything is right here. I want you to see how easy this works. It, it comes, by the way, with this grater, oh. which is amazing. It's well, a little zesting grater. Well, almost the value you, alone. Yeah, you, see you can do it, just about everything with this. But Watch how simple this is. All you do is twist the the, uh, the spinner. It pops up on its own, and then press down on the entire spinner, oh, and you can cool. literally see it spin the water, spin the dirt, spin everything else off of your salad. Lock it in place, and when you're ready to stop it, look. What is the RPM is a bad puppy? Because that thing is going it, well, fast, the, man. The faster you pump it, the faster it goes. Wow. And look at this. It makes a great colander. You, and look at the water that we just took off of there, okay? That kale. It, that's the dirty oh, water that came off of there. Oh, yeah. And again, now all you do is rinse the bowl out. You can even use this as a salad bowl, as a serving bowl for your salad. Nice. So you can use this as a colander, okay, in the sink for straining and draining. Put it in the spinner, all right? Here, let's get this wet again. Okay, let's do it. And I'll by the way, what, we have red. I'm gonna just pour the water right gray. over this. So that, yeah. I mean, your salad, guess what? You always wanna wash your salad, whether you get salad out of a bag, or maybe it's a head lettuce that you rinse in the sink. Mm -hmm. Put it in the salad spinner, in the PLA salad spinner, place the lid on top, all you do is give it a twist, you'll see it pop up, and all you do is pump, it spins. That's and you so can fun. see the dirty water come off of your salad, lock it in place, and look at this. Hit the brake, <laughs> take the lid off, and take, take the, the, the uh, strainer out, the strainer bowl out, the spinning bowl, and look at this, the dirty water all ends up in the bowl, and we even give you a pour spout pour on the bowl, so now you can take this right to, hey, you know what I like to do? Uh, look at that. Right into the sink. That's and that quick and easy. So and again, cool. all you do is flip this over, you dump it right into your serving bowl, now you can add all of the other ingredients that you like. Love it, but uh, the thing about it, and you're gonna see in a moment, you know, not just for your lettuce. I mean, you think about all your pasta. Right. What about all the berries, right? And all the water. By the way, I have to tell you, this is an HSN exclusive launch. This is the first time on the air. $29.95 available also. Yes, it does. It has flex pay as oh, wow. well. <laughs> and we're going to in a moment talk about the Zester Grater, which, as I said, you could easily spend, what, $20 yeah. for at least? Oh, absolutely. So and let me, in value. fact, let me show you that Zester, because yeah. this little Zesting Grater, I've got a little tray here with some ideas. You'll use this all the, every day in the kitchen, okay? I've got everything from here. If you want to do a little uh, lemon, lime, or orange zest, all you do is pull it across here. It's got the, the built-in mm. trough on top of the grater, so as you're going across oh, whatever yeah. Fruit, yeah. whatever, maybe chocolate. Oh, it smells whatever. good. It's, it's the most amazing. It catches it here in the trough, so now you don't have to worry about a big mess on your countertop or tabletop. You make as much as you like. You can measure it out if you like, and right, it, right into That's your recipe. Awesome. How about for nutmeg? Have you ever tried to grate nutmeg? Okay, I, I mean, most people buy it already yeah, graded up for you. Never tried to grate it. Look, with, the, with this grater, I want you to see how quick and easy this is because you can do nutmeg for, let, let's say, for a coffee or a specialty oh, drink. Yes. Or maybe for a, a ice, uh, for a toppings, for cakes and pies. Look at this. Oh, and, I mean, and look it's at fresh. the amount. Smells when you again. smell this, I mean, here, Bobby, really? I want you I to smell that. There is nothing oh. that smells better than that fresh. Is and again, so good. no muss, no fuss. It goes right in there. Now, he, I'm how many times have you ever, anybody ever try and grate fresh cinnamon? You can do this on the plate grater. Look at this, it's a, it's a zester and a grater, but I want oh you to see this because everything goes where you want it to. We put this little tab down here on the very end. I want you to see this because mm -hmm. now you can set that down on your countertop or tabletop for doing things like cheeses. It keeps it stationary. I love to do that. Yeah. It keeps it stationary over a salad bowl. This you is can so do much more efficient than those big wide graters. Smell. Can you smell that oh, cinnamon? Shit. I mean, fresh cinnamon. You know what that so good. <laughs> reminds me, always reminds me when I was a kid. Does Remember it? those cinnamon toothpicks we used to make? You used to make them with the cinnamon oil and no, suck I'm on them all day long. 
Uh, just kidding. Uh, I'll, t I'll tell you what. I'm just kidding, about, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was just my birthday the other day. It here, watch was this. My here, watch this. Another year. Look, how about for chocolate, for your cakes, for pies? Now we're talking. I mean, for grated chocolate, for your dessert toppings. It catches it in its own little trough, nice. but then you can pour it over whatever it is. Or you can hold this right over, a, like, uh, how about a little topping mm. over a sundae? Okay? Little strawberry dessert. You want to add a little zest? You can add a little zest. In fact, how about so instead cool. of chocolate, we'll take a little lemon zest, lemon. okay? Do a little lemon zest over the top just for a little that extra so, treat. And that's like I mean, throw it in with the spinner. You get this right? with the salad spinner today. Exactly. Absolutely. Cheese. If you use this grater for nothing but cheese, yes. uh, for, for hard cheese like Parmesan, look at this. Love All you do Parmesan. is pull it across here. If you've ever used those four-sided tin can knuckle buster graters, okay? <laughs> look at the cheese. <gasps> look at the amount of Parmesan that you Yum. can get off of that, and it goes right into your salad, right over the top yeah, of this pasta dish. Yeah, I love that you're dish. right, the little, it You can pass it. this around the table with a block of cheese, and everybody at the table can grate their own Parmesan right over their pasta dishes. I mean, this grater, it's worth it for the grater for the alone. Grater it really alone. is. And then, the main event, yes. the spinner that you're getting. I know. You know, I love that we're going to show pasta, because yeah. that I think it's phenomenal for pasta. And all, again, all you do is unlock it, yeah. push, and the spinner does the work for you. You'll literally see the water come off of there. You All the it? starch that comes off the water in your pastas, and you again lock it in place, hit the brake, it stops, Absolutely. and it's ready to go right into your. And then right when you put your, your sauce on it, you're not diluting it with the water that's still stuck in the pasta. I want you to pasta. see the water that comes off of that. I mean, look at that. Now that was mm. pre-strained already. Okay, we put it in the spinner, and look at that. I mean, <laughs> all that extra oil, everything else comes off with it. Yes. Uh, how about this? Here's a great idea. If you, any recipe that calls for, I like fresh spinach, which is great. You can do baby spinach in this, you know, you, for spinning. But right. frozen spinach, right out of the package. Oh. If you've ever added that to any recipe, oh, you know how it turns it more it watery and yep. soupy. Completely. Why not put it in the salad spinner, okay? Oh, that's the a plate great salad idea. spinner. Spin the excess water out of that frozen spinach so you don't have that big, excess amount of that is almost such soupy a great soup in idea. your dish. Yeah, because then it and totally alters the flavor. Yes, and here, I'll tell you what, look how much uh, and that was, look, and you only look how much water, extra water, Yikes. would have gone into that recipe if you wouldn't have spun that off of there. And you exactly. can do that in the plate salad spinner. Love it. And we've never had this before, so this is brand new. It's, yep, brand the new. The first opportunity for everyone. And like I said, color choice is simple. It's gray. It's the it's a gray or the red. That's all you do. And everyone gets the zester grater to go right along here's, with it. Here's Old another fruit. great idea. Mm -hmm. you know, listen, you can take this out. Use it as a strainer right over your kitchen sink, okay? At, you, oh, so you put it right under the, the, the yes. faucet in your sink. Use it as a strainer for rinsing off your berries, whether they be strawberries, blueberries. Do all, all of those. Then in the salad spinner, you place it on. All you do is twist the lid or twist the top and then spin all that excess water off of your berries. That's a really good Lock idea. Lock it in place. Press the button and it it's got its own built-in break. And <laughs> look at the top. Fun. It, it is. It saves you so much time in the mm -hmm. kitchen. And mm -hmm. nice, fresh, clean berries ready to go Nothing on a dessert. Nothing better. So get, you're right. And all herbs, right? If you're cooking right. with a lot of herbs, how great yeah. it would be oh, with yeah, all of your sure. herbs. So again, salad, you know, we're all trying to eat more healthily. Yeah. And you know you always want to clean the lettuce. And so here you have the chance to spin it out, get rid of all of the water, and keep the flavor. Because it really does, by eliminating all that excess water, yes. you're really maintaining more of that. Oh, Absolutely, taste. yeah. You, when you get rid of the water, plus anything like potatoes, like I'm, I'm going to show you here. And we've got this uh, little mandolin coming up actually next. My favorite. <laughs> but look at this. Master. Making your homemade potato chips or anything like that that you do at home. Make up your, when you cut your potatoes like this, you know how they turn brown right away if you and leave them out in the air? look how fast that was. I mean, I, oh, I know. That <laughs> mandolin's quick. We love but, it. Here, take, put, place oh, these right into this bowl water. of water, okay? Spin them around a couple of times. It soaks the starch off of your potatoes. And I want you to see this because oh. when you soak the starch off of your potatoes, they won't turn brown, okay? And, by the way, 
When they sit in that cold water for about 10 or 15 minutes, they'll curl up. Look, this one's starting to curl already. They get crispy and hard like a regular Ooh. potato chip. So now you can put these on a cookie sheet, bake them in the oven. Nice. You can put, you know, sprinkle whatever seasoning you like on them. Parma you have Parmesan cheese, you can do barbecue salt. Make baked potato Perfect. chips in your oven instead yeah. of deep fry them. Even apples, because you know what? You always end up apple with the chips, apples. Yeah, yeah, for dehydrating. All that. Anything yeah. that you need to wash. I mean, here's some baby spinach, okay? pre-rinsed in the sink and again you want to try it here all you do okay. is twist it twist it twist this it way right the, yep and that then way. let it come up and press Go. all you do is push oh man this is really <laughs> and really fun. that's all you have to do once it starts spinning like that you can literally see and then, then you stop. press it down and lock it oh, lock okay it. and then push the brake I'm not ready yet. All right, I will. <laughs> You're having too much fun watching it. This is it. so much All fun. All you do is push the brake and it stops it automatically. And But I want you to see the water that came off of that baby spinach and the dirt, by the way. Oh, Here, we'll pour yes. this into this bowl. Wow. I mean, this is what's on your salads, the excess right. that's on your salads when you get them home. But now you don't have to worry about it. You'll clean that. Yum. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't you rather have nice, clean baby spinach and lettuce than anything? You, Soggy. You don't, know what, you don't know what's on there when you, when you no. Even when you open those bags up, you don't know what's on that lettuce. Right. Put it in the plate salad right. spinner, spin the dirt off. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I know we have only, what, a couple of minutes or so left in this. And, and don't forget, we've never had it before. Simple, easy. And, you know, if you are going through like the double routine, I love that with right. the berries. Instead of, you know, taking it out of the pan, put it in the colander, wash right. the colander, you never, you know, trying to, you know, run the water over the top, shake it up sure. and down. Forget it. This salad spinner works quick. I Easy. also like it because it's got the clear container. You can literally yes. watch. When I press this, right. you can see the water getting spun off of that lettuce, off of that spinach, off of those berries, off of anything that you want to clean and dry. You don't, and you know, if you've ever poured salad dressing over a, uh, <laughs> over a wet salad. You know, you ever, I mean, who wants to do that? No, Your salad I know. dressing gets all. Yucky, Listen, you yucky, want a yucky. nice dry salad, use a PL8 salad spinner. This does the job. And, and I again, love it. And this company's colander, been around for 40 it's a years. Spinner, and, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, plate's been around for a long time. Yeah. And, and this is like their top of the line. With that grater, I mean, I, again, I love this grater. You'll use all it right. every single day. Look at this. For zesting yes, alone, you'll amazing. love it. For your chocolate, for, for your lemon zest, orange. Oh. Disaster, All right. lines at. Oh, the freshness. It's a that, good I, just, one. I love it. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> All right, so definitely stay there. I just see several hundred people jumping to the phones. Gray, red, that's all. Don't miss that. And then we also want to let you know about.